welcome to everything cloud and welcome back in the this part of the video in the last video we have seen the different setting of the different option of in setting and we have gone through the release so what was the release release was the way to packing and providing the software to your user and in release we can tag our new releases so tagging have a, the tagging is annotated tagging and lightweight tagging so what is the meaning of both tagging the lightweight tagging is very much like a branch that does not change it just point to specific commit and annotated tagging it store in your git database and it contain the tagger name email date and the tagging message so how the tagging will do tagging can do by the two way so i'll give the this link page so you can see how to do the tagging and you can read all this detail so tagging the first one we giving the versioning a direct you can give the numbers the advantage of using this convention are the that git document user that format in this example and the several authorized such as linux git itself that mention the semantic versioning what is that semantic versioning so semantic versioning is defined as major minor and patch increment so i'll give this link also in description so you can read it fully so i'll go with this three point major version when you make incompatible api change and minor version when you add functionality in your back backward compatible manner and the patch version will when you make backward compatible box fix so this term is very confusing so leave it as it is and let's start with the demo so create release go to release option and create create a new release and give the name of your version so i am giving 0. Point, version 0.1 give the title this is first release okay now let me give the some description this is my first version of software okay if you are working in the real world you should provide the proper detail here and you can you can attach your changes here now publish release so your release has been published so people can download source code from here so you now you can get to understood what is that line meaning the packing and providing the software to your user so let me go in tag so this is the way of tagging this the version we have given this is a tagging okay once you have done with this and we can do the same process using the command line so before going on the command line let me provide some command line options commands so which are we can use so this is the command we can use to create a tagging through the command line so if you feel confusion while doing the demo for yourself you can read this page and you can do it by yourself if even though if you feel if you feel any confusion you can google it and you can see what how to do in tagging and what the error is coming how to resolve it you can type in google and see in this page this is the developer community created by the de developer community so they will explain very well so it is otherwise if the last or not last 
whenever you feel difficulty after this performance you just leave your queries in the comment line so i can reply it and give the suggestion on that so okay this is the done with the releasing through the tagging and releasing let me go do the same tagging through the command line so let me open the command line let me first let me pull all the changes and update in our local repository see all up to date so let me see the tag so these are the tag we have done okay so our 0 1 tag is not visible so let me pull origin master okay this is done let me pull from the my demo okay it's not taking so let me create one repository sorry tagging through the command line so i'll show how to do to through this page go to attenuated tagging or lightweight tagging you can copy and paste so let me copy this one and paste it so this is the version 1.4 so we already have 1.4 so we can change it 5 and hit enter so our tagging has been created now what we will do we will push this to our origin file git push origin and what is the file name b 1.5 enter so it started so to confirm whether it is complete or not you can come and refresh here so our new file our new release has been updated okay so you can chip you can copy from here if you have a if you want to copy your repository changes so it is the version 1.5 so we have learned how to work with the release let me go for the other option so what is the net next so our release has been completed let's move to the after code issue click at issue so what is the issue come to this page issue use to track ideas, enhancement, task or box for the work on GitHub. Okay, so that means if you have a difficulty and you want to see the other ideas or you have any box in your code, you can release in your box in issue in issue and the other people can see and they can suggest you it's type of it's a good way to monitor and get the suggestion from the other peoples so issue can act as a more than just a place to report software bugs as a project maintainer you can use issue to organize tasks you like to accomplish such as adding new future auditing old one so issue is a very powerful and most of the devops user use it to debug and discussing with the other user to how to resolve the issue so let's me let's go with the demo to create your first issue go to new issue give the title this is my first issue and description i am stuck in my programming you can you have to give a nice description and detail and now you can paste your code here 
So in issue have a lots of other option also. First one is the assign. You can if you have a more than one person and you want to give the responsibility you can assign their name here. Then labels. So you can define the different type of label in this issue like box, duplicate, invalid, questions. So these are the option which we will which highlight your issue. So you have a box in your program you can mark as box. You have any invalid tag any code you can tag like this. So it is very useful. So it will become like this. Then project. You can create one project. One person can create only one project. So next will be the milestone. So you can create you can define the milestone for this one until what time it will be it should be complete. So it is type it's very powerful and it's very useful. So once you have done with all this setting and all and you are satisfied with that you can click submit new issue. So your issue will be highlight here and the other people can be comment here commenting first okay so other people can so here you can comment you can give your suggestion so what what the person can improve in their issue what the new thing he can be implement and here you can unsubscribe if you don't want to get a notification this is the end of this video I'll give all the detail in the description so you can read it and before coming in the next section just go through this slide and you just understood what is the issue. This thank you for watching this video. I'll if you have any query you just write me in the comment section or you can you can write me at tutor account everything clo at everything clo. Thank you. And please sub share your support with subscribing, like it, share it so other people can learn with you. Thank you and keep learning.